everyone, Ellie Alexander here, and today I have five things you might not know about the Bake Shop Mysteries. Number one. The series was originally pitched as the Gilmore Girls with murder. <laughs> For any of you Gilmore Girls fans out there, like me, you might recognize some similarities between the mother-daughter relationships, the small town, the quirky cast of characters that you find in both series. Except in the Bake Shop mystery, there's a lot of baking and always a slice of murder. Number two. Every book in the series starts with the same two words, they say. In the first book in the series, Meet Your Baker, when I was working on it, I was trying to capture Jules as a character and I was really struggling, but I wrote this sentence. They say it takes a while to recover your land legs after years spent at sea. I felt like that perfectly captured Jules. She's returning home to Ashland after a decade spent sailing all over the world and she's trying to find steady, solid ground, both literally and figuratively. So I just kind of ran with that theme in every book when I start it out, I just begin with the words they say and the tone goes from there. Number three, everything that Jules sees in the plaza in her version of Ashland is inspired by real places. And I'm gonna be showing you some soon, so stay tuned for those videos. There's only one exception to that rule, and that is there is no horrid Mary Windsor Hotel anywhere near the plaza. If you stand in Ashland on the corner where I envisioned Tort to be, you can look across the street and see the blue and white awnings of the charming little police station downtown. You can walk a couple stores from Tort in the opposite direction and run into Puck's Pub. Go another couple stores and you'll find the Elevation store and her apartment upstairs. But across the way, there's no Richard Lord lurking on the porch. And I think that's a very good thing. Number four, I just forgot what number four is. <laughs> number four, there's a quote from Shakespeare, the bard himself in every book in the series. And that is a little nod to my dad, who is a retired English teacher and no joke, like the professor, he quotes Shakespeare at will. <laughs> and I half the time never know which particular piece he's referring to. And then I get scolded for that. Not really, love you dad. And then number five, last but not least, the original name of Tort was going to be all sorts of things. Um, when I first started out, I had a hard time coming up with Tort. So I pulled out my old notes and I thought I would share some of what were once going to be Jewel's Bake Shop. Gooseberry Fool, Days of Yore, I don't know why, Days of Yore, uh, Shakespeare's Kitchen, Cream and Custard, and then I have a little note, or Custard and Cream, marzipan exclamation point or as you like it i'm really happy i landed with tort because it is perfect and it actually is one of the first recipes that i share in meet your baker my dad's eight layer mocha buttercream apricot tort if you haven't baked it you should it's gonna change your life uh thanks for joining me today for five things you didn't know about the bake shop mysteries what else do you want to know ask me any questions i would love to answer them here for you and don't forget to subscribe below and click that bell so you'll get notified whenever i upload a new video